Hello! So, uh, quick review for you. Uh, well, might not be real quick, I'm just saying that because I can. Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Deployer Fracture. He's a. Look from this side, just for. He's a weird Cybertronian looking hover motorbike thing. With a bit of a sidecar. Pretty sure in the show he didn't have that, so he was just the funny hover bike. But in this, he has the sidecar, and the sidecar is part of the gimmick. The gimmick being launching his, I believe, the torpedo minicons rather than the cyclone or the disc, whatever they are. These are the little like missile ones. Whereas in the show, they're actually these pieces in the shoulders. But because there's no way you're gonna get, you know, anything other than like. Come here, you. Like maybe one of these Tanks Return Headmaster guys. Maybe get one of those to be one, but that's about as good as you're going to get. Uh, but yeah, you get this. And uh, it comes with a minicon. I'm pretty sure this one is Air Razor. And he comes with all the armour and stuff like that. And I, I really don't feel like playing with armour tonight, I'll be honest with you, so... That'll be a different video. I'm, I just don't want to tonight. And you can plug that in there. And it kind of drags on the floor. It, it, there's a wheel there, but... And there's a, another piece. It all just seems to drag. It doesn't feel... Mm. And uh, much like uh, Overload... It's got a gimmick where you're gonna actually have this held in so you can push it down. You know, you push it down and it pushes that in. And then you can fire the gimmick. And you just slide this across the floor where it grinds on the floor. Great. That's not gonna ruin your plastic, is it? I, just, I don't. I mean, the cyclones, they roll. They've got that for them. They're designed to do that. This just scratches on the floor. I don't doesn't sit well, I'm not sure. There's just a lot about this whole thing that doesn't sit well. Uh, quick comparison. Here he is with Warrior Class Fracture. Who, although this is the Earth form which he takes later on, which they don't actually show you him doing, it's just when he teams up with Steeljaw and that, he's got this now. Why not? But this is the... Episodes when they introduced a more accurate version. But... That... It, I don't know. This is like they sacrificed everything for the gimmick. I imagine Drift is very much the same, but I don't want Drift. Drift is the one I really just don't like the look of. Um, and yeah, this guy who... Although there's no way you could possibly sit on there. Not like you could on that. He's a lot more... Like a motorbike, I don't know. Uh, tell you what, we'll do. We'll do air razors transformation quickly first, shall we? What you do is just split the toe, uh, the front piece here, because so they do just about tab together. You get these two side pieces, because you can't guess what they are, and just pull. And these guys little legs that you can kind of wriggle forward a bit, but be careful because it's only quite weak plastic and that's it he's a little four-legged guy big mouth Hurrah. and there's no articulation at all just stands there he's there he's kind of neat I guess <coughs> I don't know I don't I don't know go there for a minute We'll get on to the main event, shall we? Because this, this is fantastic. This is like one of the great... Never mind. You've got to get... Basically, these are clearly the arms. And they just sort of tab into the sides of what will be the legs. Getting these in and out is the hardest part of the transformation. This one should come out relatively easy. Fine. 
This one, because of the way everything lines up, is an absolute nightmare to get in. I can't remember what it's like to get out. Yeah, not as easy. There. Okay, so that comes out. Get this little piece here. Fold it up. Fold it on, uh, back on itself. Double hinge. And just push it into the body. Go up to here. Pull the nose piece out. And just click the toes into place. Why not? When the legs combine, there's this bit sticking out here that goes into a recess there. That kind of holds the front together before the arms connect. So you get that, and you can tab that straight. Then you can split the legs, which isn't always that easy. And the last bit of the transformation, really, is you got to untab these pieces. There's a big tab there on the back of the shoulder piece. goes into slot at the top there. Bring these down, like again, double hinges. Bring them down, and they go there. So you bring it out, bring it around, and they go into place. And there you have him. And let's just bring this up slightly. <coughs> Look, there he is. I just, I don't know. I'll we'll turn this to uh, torpedo mode. Still. I don't know, it, does, it doesn't... We'll show you the articulation. There's hip. Both of them. Fine. There's knee, if you want it, but you got to untab it. There's toe, if you really want it, but I don't know why you would. And this arm can go forward and back, and whole 360. It can go in and out a bit, because there's a big tab sticking out there. And that's dropped out. This one can go in and out. And that's it. They've sacrificed a lot. And probably too much to this gimmick. <coughs> so I'll show you the gimmick. Now this is dropped out. Let's pop it back in again. Now to do this, <coughs> what you got to do, basically get your thumb there and push this bit down. But, because you kind of got it... Oh, you can do it that way, I suppose. But it's all... It, it, nothing seems intuitive like it's supposed to go like that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do this. I'm not convinced I'll get it because sometimes it catches, and just try and do it quickly. I'm trying not to get him to fall over, about me. There you go. So it brings it all the way to there, raises his arm a bit, so he can go uh, and launch it from basically by his ankle, and that's it. For that, you get nothing really in this arm. You can go in and out a bit. That's it. Is it worth it? And there's a big slot in there. I found you can just about get this tab on there. You can use this, the proper tab, in vehicle mode, but in rock mode, because of the shoulders, it won't go on. So, for Minicon storage, if you have, say, Dive Bomb, the other Minicon you're supposed to have, you've got to basically put this one on there, and not put his arm out too far, or it'll pop him off. Put Dive Bomb in there. That's all you can do. That's, like, all you can do. <coughs> and it's just kind of sad. I mean... I have actually got Dive Bomb. And I've got another one. Hooray! So I'll do these two. And where's he hiding now? Air razor. I'll do all the armor 
in a video another day because I really don't feel like playing with it today, I'll be honest with you. And yeah, he's just, I thought, if anyone knows any kind of mods or anything where I can basically take this off the gearing system so I can just have it, you know, without breaking it, obviously. Oh dear, have I broke it now? Because I would love to be able to, if I had both arms I could move on their own, I'd feel a lot better about it. But just because it's stuck to that stupid gimmick, I don't... Because, I mean, Overload, he can't deploy them, really, except for firing them over his head, maybe. No, I don't think he can even do that, because the uh, safety mechanism's taken out. He can't fire his in robot mode. He doesn't need to, because look at him. Look at him. Look at the difference. Uh, should I transfer... I'm not even going to... I'm not going to bother transforming the uh, Warrior Class version, because you've seen the video on that one, because I've done one. And the Warrior Class version, in raw mode, is just far superior. If you like the gimmick, get the gimmick. I got this guy at his minicons because I found him going cheap. And I felt like treating myself. That's about it. But he's better. He's so much better. Uh, I wanted him to be good. I did. I still kind of like him, I feel sorry for him, but that stupid thing work, there. That isn't worth it. It's not worth giving up on everything else. Shame. <sighs> so, I should be ugly. I shall be wretched. I shall see all of you in the next one. Bye-bye.